Previously on Town Hall 11 Free to Play, we looked at the three most used armies in Clan War Leagues. Today, let's get into the Queen Walk portion of those attacks. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joe and welcome back for episode 43 of the Town Hall 11 free to play series. Today we're getting into how to queen walk at Town Hall 11. Now yesterday we talked about the top three most used armies in the clan war leagues. The one downside to those armies is the fact that they all had a queen walk involved. And for some of you out there, you're still struggling with the queen walk. You just don't understand how it goes. Now I have made multiple videos on how to queen walk, but they're very detailed videos and the one downside side about detailed videos is it normally goes something like this for you four or five healers uh tile difference and uh, what <laughs> But don't worry, we are not going to do those types of videos today. If you're interested in that very detailed information, I will link those videos down in the description below for you. Now today, I'm just going to do some very basic queen walking out in global and try to point out what it is that I'm looking at. That way you might be able to mimic exactly what I'm doing. Now remember, you have to practice this stuff for yourself, either out in global raids or you need to do friendly challenges with your clan mates. Do not try to go into clan war and attempt to do these things live because you more than likely will fail and you will not be happy happy with me. Now, whether you are trying to do a hybrid attack or you're trying to do the queen charge baby dragon, there's certain things that you have to bring in your army every single time in order to be successful with the queen walk. Naturally, you have to have an archer queen. And if you are a town hall 11, I would highly recommend that you have at least a level 35 up to level 50 in order to do the queen walk, because you're going to have a lot of problems against those high level defenses. You also need to make sure that you bring healers and preferably four healers at a minimum. I bring five because of the additional seeking air mine, and a lot of times I tend to lose that fifth healer during the raid. Now that's also what this one single balloon is used for, to look for the seeking air mines and possibly protect your healers to keep them alive. They're far more important than one single balloon. Then also you need to have a troop that can maneuver the queen left or right. A lot of times that's what I use this baby dragon for. And then last but not least, in order to keep your queen alive through heavy engagements like Inferno Towers, Eagle Artilleries, and clan castle troops you need to bring rage spells that way you're not using her ability very early in the raid unless you intend on doing so and those are the minimum things that you need to have in order to do the queen walk and the rest of your army is basically clearing out the rest of the base in this case we're going to use the miners all right, so let's go ahead and do a very basic attack. We do not have a Barbarian King, nor do we have our Grand Warden. We're just strictly running with the Queen Walk and the Miners. Now, since we have Miners, we have to worry about what's inside the Clan Castle. If there's balloons or an Electro Dragon, we are going to be in some serious trouble. Now, we do have to worry about a Seeky or an Air Sweeper facing up towards the top side of the base, but we need to move our Queen into this area to clear the Clan Castle troops. Now, if I want to make her go right, I'm going to place her on this side of the base. If I want her to go towards the left i'm going to place her right here i want her to go towards the left we're going to drop our balloon to look for seeking air mines and then drop our healers now we have to worry about where this queen is going to go that's what this baby dragon is for she's going to clear out that one building and then she's going to turn towards the left we also have wall breakers to maneuver her in if we want to and we really have to pay attention to where she's going now she's going to turn this way so we're going to drop our baby dragon over here to make sure that she goes inside the base where we want her to go i'm going to go ahead and drop a wall breaker since i do not have any wall wrecker or any other siege machines in this attack and we want to try to clear out at least the air defense and get her into range of this clan castle she's looking pretty good but she's taking on a lot of defenses at once as well as dealing with that air sweeper so let's go ahead and drop a rage spell to power her up and get her into this area to keep her moving while the healers try to assist with healing her we also have to worry about the eagle artillery so we need to get our miners down here in a moment and start working and they're them in before we run out of time we do not want them running out of time and coming up with a little bit of a time fail now so we need to really focus on our miners at this point and get a heal spell down since we do not have our grand warden in this attack and the queen is going to backtrack she's going to go towards the clan castle there appears to be nothing inside so that is a good thing but we also need to worry about this area and drop a rage spell on those miners to get in on that eagle artillery as soon as possible let's go ahead and get a heal spell down right there let's drop a poison spell for those 
grounds at skeleton traps and it looks like the miners are going to get into the town hall's location the miners are looking pretty good so far actually they're going to get in on the town hall and possibly take it down and the healers are going to transfer over to the miners this is natural it's going to happen and you kind of want this to happen for your miners because you might not have enough heal spells in your attack to keep them alive throughout the rest of the base so the queen is on her own over there without any healer support let's go ahead and drop another heal spell here since we're having to deal with a couple of wizard towers very soon and we could use this queen's ability right there to try to get rid of these buildings to keep our miners on path so she's going to go after looks like the archer tower we can go ahead and get a minion down right here drop that other wall breaker and looks like our miners are doing okay now unfortunately they did skip out on a wizard tower right there but they might come back around and this is just one of the downsides of not having our barbarian king in the attack so we're going to switch over to the joe version 2 account after this raid to use an entire full army to include our grand warden to include using our barbarian king and i want to show you how to tie it all together the queen walk portion is just one little section of the attack we're going to unfortunately probably run out of time here and not have enough miners to get the job done but we were able to take down this very basic base to include a eagle artillery as well as the inferno towers and such but we just did not have enough time to clear out the rest of the base because we're missing components of our attack this is the army that we're using to farm with right now let's go ahead and get over to the joe version 2 account so real quick i want to interrupt this video and point out a detail that i just noticed in that previous previous clip that I did not mention or was unable to explain in depth because we were doing it live. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump back into that replay and I wanna show you where I mentioned the part where I said if we drop the queen on the right side, she should go towards the right. And if we drop her over here on the left side, she should go towards the left, correct? Well, unfortunately what happened here is I did not use my baby dragon early enough to eliminate this dark barracks. And what actually happens here is the queen does not have something to target from her range. If you know her tile spacing, she will target things within five to seven tiles and she can shoot things up to seven tiles. So right here, she will engage this archer tower. And then the next closest building is actually this dark barracks. So she's going to backtrack and go after that instead and change her direction. This is that part where you have to rebound a little bit and play into the queen walk. If she makes this choice and goes the opposite direction, you have to kind of uh, be prepared for it and be able to make adjustments. And that's why I held onto my baby dragon a little bit longer than I should have. And the baby dragon eliminates these gold mines, which pushes the queen inside the base because there's nothing really close for her to target other than these buildings right here so she's going to go inside this compartment and go after that elixir collector and then we use the rage spell and you guys know the rest now unfortunately due to our time fail we chalked that up to not having our barbarian king we did not have our grand warden we did not bring any clan castle troops and i also spent too much time queen walking if you do not have those troops to assist you need to drop those miners a little bit earlier and you cannot go beyond one minute of queen walking if you do you're more than likely going to have a time fail so i wanted to address that real quick let's get into the next attack all right so this time around we have our barbarian king and our grand warden and a wall wrecker so we do not need any wall breakers to carry the queen inside the base since we're still using miners we still need to concern ourselves about the clan castle as well as the eagle artillery and try to clear those out and assist our miners to get deeper into the base as quickly as possible now we need to make sure that we set our queen up to go exactly where we want her to go and that's why we we have the baby dragons to do so so we're going to drop a baby dragon let's say right here and she's going to work her way up into that archer tower and then she should go towards the left but we'll have to see how it plays out with that baby dragon needs to get rid of that elixir collector as soon as possible and then she's going to go up into the gold storage and then turn towards the left so we can go ahead and do this. Let's drop a baby dragon right there. Let's place our wall record to start opening up the compartment. And let's go ahead and place our barb king over here to start clearing out some buildings as well as a wizard. We want to make sure that we direct the queen exactly where we want her to go. She's having to deal with a barbarian king. So we need to go ahead and prep up a rage spell to assist her to get her deeper into the base. Let's go ahead and drop it right there. Looks like the wall wrecker has arrived on target. And the barb king is kind of tied up on a wall at the moment. Looks like there was nothing inside the clan castle. So we can go ahead and start working our miners into the base to assist this queen let's go ahead and get the miners down as well as the grand warden to go with them and the queen should work her way inside let's go ahead and drop a rage spell right there on her 
Miners are working their way into the base. Let's use that King's ability to try to get rid of these exterior buildings. And let's go ahead and get a heal spell down right there. All right, so the miners are looking pretty good. The queen's looking okay. She's going to take out some buildings on that side. But we do have to worry about that single target Inferno Tower. So let's go ahead and use her ability. Try to get rid of it as soon as possible. Let's go ahead and use our Grand Warden's ability right there. And unfortunately, he was a little too far back. But we got heal spells to carry these miners through. And looks like they kicked on the outside of the base. That is quite unfortunate for us. So, how are we going to rebound off of this? All right, let's go ahead and get a heal spell right there. And the queen's worked her way into the town hall. So she's going to help the miners out right there. We got another heal spell that we can drop right about here for our miners to group up. And we're looking pretty good on time since we have all of our troops and we did not spend so much time on the queen walk. Let's go ahead and get a poison spell down right about in this area just in case there's some ground set skeleton traps. Let's go ahead and get a minion down and let's use our final heal spell. Hold on, let's hold off on that for a second. See where they're going to go. 54 seconds looking good so far. Queen's caught up on a wall. That's quite normal. That's <laughs> It's going to happen more often than not. You just got to play through it. Let's go ahead and get our heal spell down right there. Let's drop our single goblin. Go ahead and get rid of it. And it looks like the archer tower is going to target it and then she's going to target the miners. So it's going get that final minion down right there so that is the entire army all together and how you can link it all together if you can get the wall wrecker to assist that queen walk it helps out dramatically we're going to go ahead and change up the army this time around and use baby dragons add in some super wall breakers since that's something that we can get at town hall 11 and we're going to finish out the video with one more attack all right so queen walk baby dragon it's a very important army to know especially in the clan war leagues because you're going to more than likely have to use it against a town hall 12 or a town hall 13 now it is very very emphasized on the queen walk the queen walks incredibly important when it comes to the use of this strategy so we're going to target the eagle artillery and we're going to resemble something very similar to what we saw in yesterday's video now the major difference between clan war and being out in global is the fact that you have time to plan your attacks unlike the global attacks let's go ahead and use the super wall breaker to open up this compartment for our queen and move her into that air defense that is something that we have to to concern ourselves about and we want to try to get in there and get rid of that eagle artillery so we got to get a rage spell down let's go ahead and grab another super wall breaker to open up the next compartment for this queen and move her deeper into the base we also have the battle blimp with the electro dragon inside so we can possibly sneak that in and assist them as well so let's go ahead and drop our barb king over here and the queen's gotten rid of the eagle artillery so we can go ahead and drop the battle blimp to go in right in this area and it looks like the queen's taken on two expos at the same time let's go ahead and drop a race spell there and let's go ahead and drop the battle blimp right there as well as a freeze spell on this group of troops let's try to help them out a little bit now the grand warden would more than likely need to go with the queen in this case but uh unfortunately when you add the what the warden to the queen what it what tends to happen is the healers will transfer over to the warden and not heal up your queen now the baby dragons are starting to work their way inside the base the queen is on the town hall she's going to take on that uh expo let's go ahead and pre-place a jump spell there for our queen and we need to start working these baby dragons in so let's do it like this let's drop baby dragon baby dragon baby dragon <laughs> baby 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 let's go ahead and drop a heal spell there and let's go ahead and send the warden with this group of troops right there so they can try to be powered up by him because the queen's looking pretty good in there on her own she's got to deal with a couple of expos but so far so good let's go ahead and use the grand warden's ability let's use that queen's ability now to get rid of those expos baby dragon is working on an expo right there and on the town hall we got an air defense so let's go ahead and drop baby dragon here to try to speed up this attack a little bit and we got a couple of minions that we can drop in there to help out as well so it looks like the final expo is going to go down and this was just really kind of negotiating the base based on my ability to queen walk and my knowledge on how to do it this takes a lot of practice you got to understand how this works to be able to not run out of time we did not have to deal with any clan castle troops and we also eliminated that eagle artillery very early in the raid and we were able to negotiate this base with strictly the queen walk and the baby dragons again this is heavily emphasized on the queen walk portion if you understand how to maneuver her you should be able to maneuver in your baby dragons and be quite successful you can three star other town hall 11s but you're realistically just going for the two 
star if you're having to go against those Town Hall 12s and Town Hall 13s in your Clan War Leagues. So hopefully you were able to get something out of today's video. I just wanted to really kind of zone in on the Queen Walk portion, not give you a ton of details. That way you kind of understand what's going on. You got to practice these things if you want to get better at the Queen Walk. I can give you a ton of facts and details, but you're really just going to forget them about five minutes after watching the video anyways. So you got to get out there and practice it for yourself. And hopefully today's video was able to give you a good idea on how to maneuver her in, when to drop those rage spells, and how to carry her through an attack. If you enjoyed our content, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you have not done so already. And if you like watching us quite regularly, turn on those notifications. If you need any additional video support or you want to see the Town Hall 11 free to play series from the very beginning, click one of those links over there and we will see you in the next one, guys. Take care.